Ben, you've always made a low bow to luck over the years. You even had an autobiography. Call me Call lucky. Call me yeah. lucky. Uh -huh. Do you have a lucky number? Seven, I guess. I have to say seven because... I, I, I would only <laughs> presume that for Of course, when I, used to, when I used to say that I was very lucky, my mother used to become very indignant because she said, luck indeed, she said it was my prayers. And uh, possibly that's um, more responsible for what success I've achieved than luck, but I guess luck you could get in there too. Well, I think seven has a pretty good continuity in the Crosby family. You were one of seven children. I have seven children. And you have? Seven grandchildren. Seven grandchildren. Of course, that'll be augmented, and I'm sure, because uh, there'll be more grandchildren. Well, then probably seven will move and nudge itself 77. towards 11. 77. <laughs> 11's a good number, too. That pays off. Your youngest children, Mary Frances, Nathaniel, and uh, Harry. Yeah, but in reverse I order. I had, I had them in the wrong yeah, order. Yeah, Harry's just seven, and Mary Frances is just six, and uh, Nathaniel is, uh, will be four the end of October. And they're quite an interesting group, I tell you that. They keep us running. Well, I... I've always been astonished at how the, the, the Crosby, all members of the Crosby family, keep running at everything. It's such a busy family. Now, Mrs. Crosby has um, at least a part-time career and many yeah. interests beyond the household. She really does. I don't know how she gets it all done. Uh, she teaches the kids quite a bit. She has a little classroom in the house where she augments their education. Her mother was a teacher, and she had some theories about things she wants them to learn, and she's a registered nurse. She did uh, about two months of uh, theater this summer, as she does every summer. And she uh, loves to uh, interior decorate. We're doing a house over right now. Uh, I, I wanted to ask you about your houses. You've always enjoyed having domiciles all over the place. Yeah, What's I can the never present Crosby compliment? Well, we just have a house in Hillsboro, which is near San Francisco. Uh, we have a place in Mexico and uh, a ranch up in Northern California, and that's all. Elko That's quite is enough. <laughs> we yeah, sold Elko, Cass, yes. We Hayden sold Lake. Elko. Gone. Uh, the, just the three places. Of course, the ranch is uh, more of a commercial mention, than a, and it's a good place to fish and hunt, but it, uh, it is a, a, a working ranch. Work and play are always combined right. in the Crosby life, right? It seems so, yeah. <laughs> Among the, uh, the Crosby rinker items that are perfectly pure because there were just the two of you is at your command yeah that was a great song uh good ballad and it did pretty well too which which of those um those songs from the from the pre-motion picture period seems to stick um more in in public affection. Which one are you always being asked to sing more than any other? From that period, Fletcher, I th would think uh, Wrap Your Troubles in Dreams. It was a good song, mm -hmm. nice lyric, and that's the one if I do uh, go around and do shows, you know, uh, camp shows or whatever, that uh, I get some requests for them. And it was a popular song. It wasn't from any movie, and it was done before I was really in pictures. In the overseas entertaining that you did during the war, was that the kind of song the boys asked? Yeah, they asked for that a lot, but uh, White Christmas was the big request oh, over course, there, yes. Yeah. Yes, that was one of its many years, indeed. Mm -hmm. Bing, so many of your professional and non-professional friends over the years stay very much part of your life as family stays part of your life. Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your test of a real friend? Well, what do you think are the, are the basic elements of continuing friendship? That's a tough one. I, uh, I have to resort to an old cliche. A friend is one who knows all about you and loves you just the same. It's kind of corny, but it's, it's uh, true. Well, it's, uh, it's certainly true in your life mm -hmm. how everybody is kind of mm, separated here and there because of time and circumstance, mm -hmm. but mm, they come back on the track constantly. Yeah. Later that afternoon, on a different kind of track, Bing joined his old friend Charlie Conacher at Toronto's Woodbine Racecourse to watch another old friend, jockey Johnny Longdon, ride in the Canadian Championship. George Royal was the Longdon Mount, bred and raised in British Columbia. He's from the West and I'm from the West, Bing had remarked casually earlier in the day. So, of course, George Royal was the Crosby choice in the big event.
Crosby's choice was Canada's new champion. Coming up from last place out of the starting gate and pounding steadily over a mile and five-eighths of soggy turf to win by half a length. 